to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechel Kodash, the will honor the apostles and elders, a great millstone, who will well labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom, I mean in peace, may that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. So 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 10 says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do the if you do these things, you shall never fall. So what is the word for diligence? There we go. Strong's G, 4704, Spudadzo. 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 It says to hasten, make haste. Right, it sounds like speed. It says to exert oneself, endeavor, give diligence. And then in the King James, endeavor three times, do diligence. Two times, be diligent. Two times, give diligence once. Be forward once, labor once, study. Right, so all of those things go into it. Study. All right, give you all. Effectively, make your calling an election show. Your calling Strong's G 2821 Clasis Clasis linguistically linked to Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, or Syrac, right? Ecclesiastical. Yeah, this word so means a calling. The word in Hebrew. Would be quarter a, I believe. Let's go into that. Let's see if it's in there. Let's see if it's in there. So that it says, "And the Lord, <coughs> Leviticus one and one, and the Lord Yahweh called unto Moses and spake unto him out of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, right, so the word call, there's the word." It says to call, call out, recite, read, cry out, proclaim. Right, so those who were called, ultimately, you know, called and chosen. You know, how shall I speak on that? But you see, the Heavenly Father initially called out to Israel. So now he's calling to the elect. Right, the calling and election. As it's written as well, many are called, a few are chosen, as Yahweh I said. So in this word, places, it says a calling, calling to, a call, invitation. To a feast of the divine invitation to embrace salvation of the Most High. Bars. Right, but so it says, many are called, few are chosen. It says, calling, ten times vocation, once. And then going into vocals. Right, vocational, dealing with being called out of the, the vocal. Right, the word election. Strong's G, 1589, Eklage. Eklage. It says the act of picking out, choosing of the act of the most highest free will by which before the foundation of the world he decreed his blessings to certain persons. And that's the thing. Christianity you know, may speak on election, certain <laughs> denominations, certain denominations will speak on it, but they'll fail to mention that the election, there's an elect nation, all right, Israel. That's either it mentions it Neither Isaiah 45 or Isaiah 54, I believe. Right, but it mentions it all the way throughout the scripture. Right, to whose are the promises? Who are Israelites to whom pertain to the adoption and the glory and the promises and the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the this and the that? Right? But, so there's one, that, there's one, you know, chosen nation who are as a nation, but then you've got the creme de la creme. Right, for example, the Lord's chosen nation came out of Egypt, right, during the Passover, the Pesach, or, you know, after, if you like. But the elect, right, is going to be the Israelites that are making it on this new Pesach, right? Read Jeremiah 23 and 7. It talks about the Israelites will no longer, well, people will no longer say, look, 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 it's behold the Lord, right, Yahweh who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But rather they'll say, this is the Lord that brought the children of Israel out of the land of the north, and all the lands will be given them. Right, so our Babylon the great. So the Lord has an elect. So the plantation Christians may mention elect, but they fail to mention it's the elect of the nation of Israel. Right, that's the main thing. Okay. So it says, of the act of the Most High's free will, which before the foundation of the world he decreed his blessings to certain persons. 
And then it says the decree made from choice by which he determined to bless certain persons through Hamashach by grace alone, a thing or person chosen of persons, the Most High's elect. Right, so the, the point being, there is an elect and it is of who? Right, who's it? It's not just a random, you know, multi ethnic church that they like to say. If we're in First Peter, to so stay in Peter, go to First Peter two and nine. You know, he see who's who's chosen. Right, First Peter two and nine. But ye are chosen generation, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people. That you should shew forth the praise of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvellous light. Right, and the chosen generation. Let's go into this word generation. Because it doesn't just mean like you have you, you, you know, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, you're one generation. Then you have your parents, uh, the next generation, your uncles, your aunties. Then you have your grandparents, their brothers and sisters, and your one generation. It's not talking like that. <clears throat> You're chosen. We're for chosen there. We'll pull that as well. Strong's G, 1588. Eclectos. Eclectos. This is picked up. Chosen. Chosen by the Most High. To obtain, to obtain salvation through Hamashach. It says Christians are called chosen or elect to the Most High. And that's correct. But who are the Christians? Right? The disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Right, so I'm just checking what's going on outside. So it's a, the Messiah is called elect as appointed by the Most High to the most exalted office conceivable. It says, Choice, select, i.e., best of its kind or class, excellence, preeminent, applied to certain individual Christians. So it says, Elect 16 times, chosen seven times. All right, so let's listen. The, uh, the elect, the chosen, genos generation. Genos. Strong's G, 1085. Genos. Genos. It says, kindred, offspring, family, stock, tribe, nation, i.e. nationally or descent from a particular people, the aggregate of many individuals of the same nature, kind, sort. So what's the same nature? They're all of Jacob. Right? But again, not all you know, Israelites Chosen, not all Israelites are Israelites. What first you said the Gentiles are Israelites, now the Israelites are Israelites. There's the Israel, the Israel of the devil, and there's the Israel of the Most High. So you've got Galatians 6 and 16 says, And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy upon the Israel of the Most High. So that's what you have to remember, right? So there's different levels to being a Jake. So it says, What first Peter 2 and 9. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvellous light, which in time past were not a people, but now are the people of the Most High, which have not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. And if you go into who were not a people, it tells you verbatim even in that. Right, Hosea 1, and or Habashai 1, verse 10 and 11. It says, yet the children of Israel should be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass in the, in the place where it is said unto them, ye are not my people, there it should be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. Is that not what we just read? Right, so they were called, and we were called not a people, in Babylon the Great. You know, called all these various racial words, you know, slurs. And now it's being said unto us, you know, through our teachers, that we are the children of Israel. The sons of the living God, Yasha Allah, he is a prince of the power. In verse 11 it says, Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. And if you wanted a, a clue, or maybe this is spiritual Israel, now it's talking about Christians, Jezreel is the, is the, is the clue. So it says, Ya Zarai Allah. If you know about that root there, Zarai, <clears throat> it says to sow, scatter seed. To sow, producing, yielding seed, to be sown, to become pregnant. Be made pregnant, right? So what makes you pregnant? Seed, right? Zerai. To be sown, to produce seed, yield seed. So Yah, Zerai, Allah means what? He is the seed of the Most High, right? So literal, physical descendants. 
That's the thing. Jezreel, God sows. You should really. Ya means he. Zara means seed. And Allah means the most. Well, it means power. In reference to the most high. There's Allah Hayyam. There's plural powers. But this power specifically is the most high. So who is the seed of the most high? Israel. Jezreel. It says a descendant of the father or founder of Etam of Judah. First son of Hosea the prophet. A city in Nekeb of Judah. A city in Issachar. On the northwest spur of Mount Gilboa. There's many uses of that, of that term. But yeah, the, the seed of the power. That should be the great day. Alright, so we're looking for that calling and election, Lord willing. So all Israel is eligible, right? But not all Israel is elect, elected. So Second Peter chapter 1, verses 10 and 11 in full now. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Saviour, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right with that, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechah Kudash, Shalom.